Welcome, everyone, to the Everything Show. I am your host, Matrix Lord 212, and I'm with Scott. What's up, Scott? Greetings and salutations. All right, so I want to talk about box office first, because we haven't done box office in a while. Friday estimates, it chapter one, 76,400,000. Mm -hmm. Yes. Doesn't say the budget. That's what bothers me. Uh, Angel has fallen. 49185000 Now that shows the budget. They hid the budget before. Um, so it's $9 million over the budget. The, the, uh, it's probably going to be a success. The whole series has been a success. The Good, uh, Good Boys is number three, $75 million. That's a success already. Number four, and again, it's not that many movies in here that are totally like massive interest, you know? Yeah. Uh, it, you know, just the summer season's over. Um, Overcomer is number four, $21 million. That's a success. Yeah. I know. I didn't know what that is. Uh, number five, The Lion King. That's narrowing down, but that has in $1,572,000,000. So that's doing well. Um, then we have Fast and the Furious, Hobbs and Shaw. Not bad. And that's almost done, too. That's Wow, it's six nine. Wait a minute. 690. Wow. That jumped, didn't it? Wasn't it at 588? Yeah, I think it jumped. one it was. Yes, yeah, so 690. Wow. Go Cobbs and Short. Jesus. That's a, that's a, that must be doing really well in China. Uh, ready or not, uh, $6 million budget, 33 million. That's almost 34 million. That's doing well. Um, number eight is the Peanut Butter Falcon. Okay. Uh, 10 million, it is. All right, no, can't tell what the budget is because it's hidden. Once Upon a Time in Hollywood is 286 million from a $90 million budget. Okay, and the last one, number 10, Scary Stories to Tell in the Dark. Not a good movie. 87 million, so that's a success story, okay. Uh, Spider-Man Far From Home is in 13th place. It's making three hundred thousand a day right now. It's at one billion one hundred twenty-five million four hundred thirteen thousand nine hundred twenty-three. And is there anything else to report with the box office before we get out of the box box office segment? Let's see. Let check one more thing, and then we are out of here for the box office. No, that's it. Okay, so now let's talk the news. Okay, uh, you saw it. You said it was okay. It was okay. It was good. I just said uh, I just had a trouble. Or what I had, like I said, the main thing I had problem was with the was with the fear tracking. They seemed yeah. to be going real good, and then they break away, and it was real hard getting back into it every now and then. Now they said that they expect a hundred million dollar opening. So by Sunday, tomorrow, we will find out what the numbers is for that. Uh, we did hear that Haley Atwell, Agent Carter. Is basically going to be in Mission Impossible Seven. That's a huge deal, man. Yeah. For her to be in that, okay. I I have to check that series out. Um, Joan Cusack is going to be Julia Child for HBO Max. Oh God. Wow. More not the teacher. Yeah. Oh. I used to watch that when I was a kid, man. Same uh, here. Mad Men scribe to pen the Hawkeye series. That's cool. Some of these series, though, for Disney Plus, seem like we just need to have a series. So, okay. Yeah. You know what I'm saying? Like the Falcon just, and Winter Soldier. They want Soldier. something to pull people in. Yeah. You need that series, Falcon and Winter Soldier? Probably not. No. Probably I not. See, man, I see. I don't remember if it was one of those where it got an automatic second season, but I can see one, I can see one season from it. I mean, Moon Knight I want to see. Yeah. That I definitely would see. But, like, some of this stuff that they're creating yeah, is that, just – I mean, a lot of that stuff is just something like, oh, let's just create a series so we can bring people in. Right. We need to fill this up. Okay. Oh, okay. So here's the thing. Uh, you know how they were saying Kristen Stewart, uh, if she didn't hold a girlfriend's hand, she'd be in the MCU, right? Anthony Mackie, who is a Falcon, actually opened his mouth – Listen to this, Scott. And he said that Kristen Stewart should play Cap should play a gay Captain America in the MCU. 
Wow, he really put them on the spot, I'm gonna, didn't he? I, I, I'm going to get slugged if I say what's up by my right No, but now. he really put Marvel on the spot, didn't he? Yes. Oh, my God. I, I, I'm, thank, I'm thankful we do not speak in thought bubbles or speak bubbles because I would definitely be slugged right now for what I'm thinking. And then we're going to find out. Wait, just, for the color, just for the color scheme of the outfit. Wow. So. All I'm going to say is now that he spoke out, uh, Anthony Mackie, uh, yeah, what happened to the Falcon? He just vanished from the FCU. Yes, yes. <laughs> don't know what happened to the Falcon. Oops. <laughs> He got blipped or snapped somewhere else. No. Oh man. He, he turned out he turned out to be a scroll and be Jesus. And, and we didn't know it. Somebody's <laughs> gonna be in trouble with that one. Uh <laughs> God. So what else do we have? Yeah. Uh, he was a scroll this whole time. <laughs> I'm hoping that uh Terminator Dark Fate is a good movie despite Same what here. we think it is. Again, we don't know. It, it sadly, it is the last movie I've seen that I really want to see in this uh, in this month. Lambo yeah. looks decent, but nothing that I would really want to rush out and get. Yeah. Oh, I want to show you this picture. I think we showed it on here. This is Death. He's eating in this. Yes. Like, yeah. I saw that. <laughs> that's great. He's at a food kitchen. Oh, great. Right. He's. He, they <laughs> finished filming, and he was eating. I guess or whatever. That's pretty cool. So. Uh, yeah, here's the thing. Rambo Last Blood. I'm hoping that it's good. Yeah, same here. But, again, this is probably not the last Rambo. He already said that. Stallone, that he wants to have another one. But he might take the character in a new direction, so it's not... I don't know what they're going to do. With that. But we're getting another Rocky, that's for sure. Yeah. Uh, and that's another one I'm not... Uh, the way the series has gone is that's another one that's like... Well, I can wait for that to get to the streaming or video. Yeah. So, again, there's another thing out there about the Black Widow movie that they're doing it like woke. They're putting a lot of weird stuff in there and it making it like, I hope not. Yeah. Like me too. If they, if they end up doing the same thing to it like they did with Captain Marvel, people are going to be really pissed. I don't know. I'm hearing bad things. Hopefully, hopefully that's me, wrong. Because me personally... Uh, Black Widow should have came out before Captain Marvel. Oh, another funny thing I found: Tom Holland wants this. The whole introduction of Miles Morales and Ultimate Spider-Man was that Peter Parker died and then he took over. Yeah. Right? Tom Holland's like, "Yeah, I want Miles Morales, but I'm not dying <laughs> because then he would be out of a job and Miles Morales would take over." He's like, "Yeah, change that part because that's not good." No. But you got Miles Morales, which means you change the whole damn origin, basically. Yeah. But he, he doesn't want uh, to die, so that way, you know. No, I can. Miles Morales. How about this? It's assumed that he died. And. Yeah. And, Here's another, oh, oh here, here we go. Here we go. Somebody's impersonating. Somebody is impersonating Spider Man. They're the ones that died. They're the one that's mistaken for the genuine article. And we find out that the real Spidey was off doing something else. On vacation. Far from home. Yeah. Nah. Yeah. And Miles Morales takes over, right? I don't know. Yeah. When, when he was on his, uh, we find out when he was on his little European vacation type of right. thing. Right. Miles Morales is there. Just... Yeah. Here's the, here's the thing. Um, did you see the, uh, did you see Tomb Raider? The last Tomb Raider, the new the last, one? Yeah, I saw the last Tomb Raider. Was it good? It was good. It to, Yeah? It was decent. Uh, I'm sorry, uh, not because I'm a fan of Angelina Yummy. I mean, Angelina Jolie. I still feel those two movies were a lot better than this. Than really? Because this one's getting a sequel, actually. Yeah, I heard that was those plans for a sequel. Yeah. Uh, yeah I heard those plans to... for one, but whether it's gone through or not. No, I it's happening now. It's happening now. I could honestly see a sequel coming from it. No, it's happening now. Ben Wheatley is, is going to be directing it, and it's coming out March 19th, 2021. Okay. Tomb Raider. Like I, said, I could see when seeing the movie, I could see them getting a sequel from it. It, it right. was good, but to me, uh, the Angelina Jolie ones were better. Yeah. So that I'm glad. I mean, you know what? I, I have to watch the Tomb Raider thing before I could yeah. even. 
I gotta go back and watch that again too. So yeah, forget about that stuff. All right, got the first one on DVD. I'm gonna Both I'm gonna try to see if I can see it, and then next time we'll I'll review it. it. You know, hopefully it's a good movie. All right, guys, we're gonna get out of here. Thank you very much. Take care. Bye for now.